especially when we're going up against these cars that are expected to have a lot more power than we have. And I love being out there with my friends and giving people a hard time when, with, with the Honda is always fun. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Julian with TRC. We're actually out here with Rudy and his 92 9 second Civic daily driven B series. Let's go check it out. What's up, Rudy? What's up, Magic? You doing all right? All right, buddy. Let's get this thing fired up. Man, this thing is so cool. Four cylinder, nothing to brag about. Just a little four cylinder? <laughs> yeah. Hey, my name is Rudy De La Cruz. I got my uh, 92 Honda Civic hatchback. It is a LSV Tech setup. I got a B18 CSS block, Carrillo rods, and CP pistons. We got um, a GSR head with uh, Skunk 2 Pro 1 cams. We got a Supertech valve train, JG Edelbrock intake manifold, blocks, 76 millimeter throttle body, 62 66 precision. A billet turbo. It is on a T3, uh, T4 top mount manifold. 46 millimeter precision wastegate. For the intercooler, we have a two and a half inch piping with a excess intercooler, nothing special. Instrument management, we have a Honda the uh, S300. Oh, the tranny, we have a uh, Albins, one through fourth synchro engagements. And we have a uh, carbon synchros with a M Factory fifth gear cuff and a M Factory diff. We got a competition twin disc clutch. We also went with the uh, Speed, uh, Speed Factory gear selector, Speed Factory Denton Springs. And for the axles, we got a 5.9 drive shaft axles with uh, 46 millimeter hubs. We have blocks drag suspension on it, blocks rear lower control arms, and we also have blocks upper control arms. And on the front, we ran with K2 and Sperico lower control arms for the front. Of course, we need a little bit more help in the front. And we went with the full race traction bar as well. PSI on the dyno, it was a 28 PSI and it made about 640, 648 to the wheels on the Mustang dyno. Uh, ever since we've turned it up a little bit more since we uh, left the dyno at the track, got up to about 33, 32 pounds. We ran 99 at 153. It's probably making somewhere around 700 horse. <laughs> Everybody's got seats in there, but I'm a big guy and there's no way I'm fitting in that seat right there. So uh, we're gonna put a camera inside the car and a GoPro, let it make some hits for you guys and uh, show you what it's like in a nine second Civic. Check it out.
This motor that's actually in this car right now was built by uh, Aaron Lopez, a really good buddy of mine. I'm pretty sure everybody knows who Aaron is, really, really good guy. Uh, but previously, other than that, my, my, me and my buddy Steven Longoria have always built these cars together and this is what basically where we ended up at. The original tuner, when we first I got the car put together, we had took it up to Houston to Jason Herrera at Stupid Fast. We got it all straightened out and we ended up coming back to San Antonio and Jason referred me over to uh, Chad Data Tuning with Chad. So ever since we've been doing a lot of track tuning with Chad, um, he's been helping me out a lot too with fabricating as well. My wheels that I run on the street are uh, slips, 16s with uh, Toyo R88s. And then on the track, I run the Lenzos, fronts and backs with the M&H 24 and a half by 13. My fuel system, I got a uh, Magnafuel 750 fuel pump, and it is a runoff of uh, 2000 ID injectors, air motive regulate, uh, pressure regulator. It's a runoff of a E85 Valero. Nothing special, like I said, I like going around the corner for my gas. <laughs> I've owned the car for about six years. Um, the, 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 basically, since day one, the car was basically bought to make a race car, so it took me six years to get where I'm at now. I had another coupe before, and basically we just transferred everything over to this one. It took me six years to get it all dialed in and, and where we wanted it to be, and like I said, now it's just a street beast. The friends that I've made along the way, all my buddies that, that kind, kind of come around and help me and come together at times, especially when we're going up against these cars that are expected to have a lot more power than we have, you know, and the Honda game is, is so uh, easy to get talked down on, especially when these people don't set up their cars properly. And I just, I'm, I love being out there with my friends and giving people a hard time when, with, with the Honda is always fun, you know, that's what I love doing. And, Doing this is just having confidence and always don't ever judge a book by its cover. That's what I can say because um, Hondas might look like the way it looks original, but line up at the line and it'll break out a nine in no time. <laughs> That's what it's about. She held up? Yeah, but this stupid thing, when I hit it, it freaking went. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we appreciate you tuning in to TRC. Of course, we can't thank Rudy enough for letting us check out his nine-second Civic. Rudy, that is awesome. Thank you, man. Anytime, anytime. Mm -hmm.